Okay, just at the bottom now. I'm on, I'm on the tackle where it gets steep. Hard to see, but it's about 45 degrees now. Probably an hour or so to the top. Okay, 2.30 a.m. Halfway up the tackle. See Gordon making his way up. Lights of Chamonix below. And then there the line of people coming from the Cosmic. The light at the top there is the Cosmic. So yeah, halfway up tackle. Just approaching first big from now. See the crevasse off to the left. Nice solid stow bridge in the middle. And then big Serac to the right. Not a place you want to be on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> Okay, come down from the shoulder of Mont de Tackle now. The bottom of Mont Mordi, which is up there somewhere, which you can't see, and you can just see some lights ahead. The, uh, about 400 vertical meters to go to get up to that coal. Let's hope we get some daylight soon. You can just see the lights of Lausanne in the distance. Okay, so halfway up Mont Mordi now. Mont Mordi to the left, we're going to a coal to the right, which you can't see yet. I turn you around. The first evidence of sunrise. Okay, dawn's coming in. It's gonna give us a little bit of light to the top. It's approaching the cold de Montmordi now. Halfway up, bit of ice, so taking it on the easy side. Gordon just unscrewing there. And you can see down where we skinned up from with the sunrise over Mont Blanc de Dacoule. So, another sort of 10 vertical meters to go, we should get a nice view of Mont Blanc. So now we reach the top of Col de Mont Mordi. Most technical bit of the trip done, hopefully. Uh, you can see now as the sun's up, we've got a big view of Mont Blanc. Up at the top there, you can see some people already on the summit, which is cool. Uh, so yeah, now it's just a debate whether we ski the north face, we'll come down to the col here by the, by the, the Dome de Guta, and then down to the col onto the Grand Moulet. Yeah, so five to six in the morning. We're getting there. So now we're on Col de la Brenva, Col de Brenva, something like that. Uh, 500 meters left to go. Just had a spot of lunch. First time I've had lunch at 6.30 in the morning. But yeah, now we've got 500 takers up to the top. And then finally we can do some skiing. We were kind of planning on skinning up, but so far until here, we haven't put the skins on. Well, the skis on rather once, it's been skis on the back. The crab was all the way, so hard work. Maybe 350 to go now, maybe 400, but summit is definitely in sight. And finally, we are on the skis, which is good news. We can rest our backs a little bit. So yeah, two hours or so, and we'll be on the top. Now, probably 200 vertical meters shy of the summit now. But we are absolutely Creased, we're absolutely creased. Uh, trying to get a bit more sandwich in us. And hopefully we should be up there. So what, yeah, probably at 4,600 meters now. Maybe a bit more, so nearly there. Face of Mont Blanc, that was kind of plan B, but fortunately it wasn't in condition, so came down the Guta Ridge here and then we ended up skiing down here to get bigger towards the Grand Moulet. <laughs> Gordon Fordy is skiing. The Chamonix Classic at Grand Moulet. There is a Gouda Midi up and over Mont Blanc de Tackle. 
up and over Mont Mordi, up to the top of Mont Blanc, and then ski all the way back down to the mid station. Famous Grand Moulet Serac. <laughs> 